<laughs> we should probably start. We, we need a real intro. Well, we have the, the theme song. Oh, yeah, I always forget about that. <laughs> you have to play the theme song for me every time so I remember. Because this is a thought I have every single time. <laughs> Well, so we've been talking, and we decided that we are no longer going to do the trivia. Uh, it's dumb. Yeah, it just doesn't really work. It it was it worked a little bit better in the beginning, I think, but it's just kind of become uh, cumbersome for the podcast. So we're just gonna we're gonna skip that part and just jump right into the the show. But I still don't know what movie you picked, so why don't you go ahead and tell me what you want to talk about? So the movie I've picked today is There Will Be Blood. Have I'm, you seen this movie? I think we've talked about it, haven't we? Mm, I don't think so. Well, we, I have it on my list. No, we talked about uh, No Country for Old Men. Yes, they came out bit. at the same time. Yeah, I always get those two confused. I haven't seen either one of them all the way through. I've seen you haven't seen no, you haven't seen There Will Be Blood all the way. No, I've seen parts of both, and they like. I feel like they were shot the same in the same era. Maybe not the same era, but like the same style. So I have a really hard time same, keeping them, keeping them same straight. Same style, yes. Era, no. Yeah. Because one is about um, oil drilling, right? And one is about old men. One is about old men. Yeah, one is about the oil drilling boom mm-hmm. in California. Yeah. And the other one is a... I, I don't know. A... a, a Game of cat and mouse and another cat. <laughs> cat and mouse and dog. Exactly. Um, so There Will Be Blood is the oil drilling one, right? Yes. And is Colin... And let me... Spoiler, it, spoiler alert. It, wait, there wait. will be blood. And there was. <laughs> is Colin they Hanks... You, right? Is Colin, Colin Hanks, Hanks... Colin Hanks the preacher or something like that in this? No, uh, Paul Dano. You know Paul Dano? Hmm. No, not off the top of my head. He is from. Oh, I can't even think of what he's from. He is from There Will Be Blood, and he's got some other movie roles. He's kind of a nerdy looking dude. It's kind of strange looking. Is Colin Hanks actor. in this movie? I don't think so. It doesn't have a very big cast. It's mostly just a handful of guys. Paul F. Tompkins is in this movie, though, right? I don't think so. Is he? I think so. What am I thinking of? Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking of. <laughs> you, you just really need there to be a Paul. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, he's in There Will Be Blood. Paul F. Tompkins? Yes. Huh. Well, okay. <laughs> uh, but other than that... Up. Other than that, I don't know what this is. So basically it's about uh, a oil industryman who he starts out kind of low. It's been a while since I've seen this, so I'll try to remember. He starts off low on the totem pole and then ends up creating an oil empire while at the same time he's having a feud, a land feud with uh, Paul Dano and his family – because they live on land that has significant oil that he would like to purchase from them and they don't want to sell. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little game between the two of them. Uh, it basically, <laughs> spoiler alerts for anyone. It, well, I don't even know how we'll, I guess we're just gonna end the movie now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it uh it, it has an iconic scene at the end as he's about to kill this other guy cuz the other guy he's the he's the pastor but he's also just like a douchebag um he's he's very uncool and it ends with Daniel Day-Lewis pretty much telling him look man I don't want your land anymore I don't need it cuz I stole all your oil and your land is useless and the guy did not understand because obviously there were no rigs, 
you know, on his land, so uh-huh. he couldn't figure it out. And he gives the guy an analogy and basically says, in, in other words, I'm going to paraphrase, but basically, you're sitting there, I'm sitting here, we both have a milkshake. I take my straw and I reach it over into your cup and then I drink your milkshake. <laughs> That's what he says. So basically, he was drilling on his land yeah. and doing something that they kind of call, at least called these days, is directional drilling, mm-hmm. where they can drill horizontal, you know? Yeah. And so drilled on top of his land and drilled horizontally to the yeah. other guy's land and stole up all the oil. <laughs> now, you work for the oil filter, right? I work for the field. And how accurate is this movie to real life? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's based on real life. But I mean, for you now, are you like Daniel Day Lewis? I, I yes, I am Daniel Day Lewis in this movie. I am a modern day Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. Do you go around drinking other people's milkshakes? I drink all the milkshakes. What do you like about uh, this movie? Um, I like the I, I, I do I like the style of it. In fact, the first. 20 minutes of it i think there's like no dialogue it's just like drilling in fact there's there's long periods uh, during this movie where there's no dialogue it's just like cinematic Mm -hmm. um so it's pretty cool it's it's got cool visuals and it's just i i I like the story i think it's interesting you know anything like i said because i work in the oil industry so it's anything that has to do with that's interesting to me Especially the early days. This is like the eighteen, the late eighteen hundreds. Um, because they're digging, so, they're digging the wells with shovels, right? That's something I remember. Oh, One, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every everything was pretty much by hand. They uh, uh, at the beginning. They get one of the guys gets like caved in on or something like that, right? Is that? Is that yeah, something along those lines? Ba- yeah, basically they're digging with shovels and they're like taking the rocks out in like buckets. You know, there's guys at the top of the hole. Working a bucket to get the rock out of the the rock ground. The rock, Dwayne, yeah. Dwayne the Rock Johnson yeah. is in this movie. Yeah, they're trying to get Dwayne Johnson out. <laughs> he is anti oil drilling and he's he's protesting and he's just in the way and what, he's everywhere. <laughs> what do you think about people who are anti oil? Um, I not to stir up any controversy. <laughs> stir it. This is what this podcast is about: offending, unless, unless offense, you drive anger, controversy. Unless you drive a vehicle that is a hundred percent, you know, electric, then you need oil. You have to. You have to. Well, what's the? That's, I don't know the percentage, but a good portion of electricity is based off of oil too. Maybe I don't know that. I'm not good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of electricity is. Uh, uh, comes lots from and lots coal. of things uh, are oil based. Yeah, oil based uh, uh, energy. Mm. Most importantly, though, I guess. The- oh, that lose you? I will, like not even a hybrid vehicle. You there, I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello. Hey, can you hear me? All right. Well, we're back. Big oil try to shut yeah. us down, but they cannot silence me because <laughs> um, I am big oil. Oh wait, no, we are in support of big oil. Uh, what's the anti big oil? Who who is against big oil? Big electricity. Big electricity try to shut us down, but we said no Not way. Not gonna happen. You cannot silence I... us. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, how do you like killing the environment? What is your? What were you saying? My proposed method is drilling until there's nothing left, and then the earth caves in on itself. Yeah, it's just like honeycomb now. Yeah, pretty much. Did I ever tell you about the time I worked on a uh, a platform for a day? I feel like you have worked 5,000 different jobs for a day. <laughs> uh, I've worked, I think I counted once, it was like over 20 different jobs. Okay, I've had like four jobs. Uh, I don't remember you telling me about uh, working on a platform. When was that? So it was when I lived in Ventura, and uh, I worked for... It was in high school then? Yeah. So I was a shop boy for a uh, 
They weren't an Shaboy. oil. <laughs> they weren't an oil company per se. They were a um. Oh, what do they do? They're just contractors for the oil fields for the oil companies. Uh-huh. And so, uh, I would just go and pick up parts and deliver parts for them and stuff like that. But yeah. uh, he, they had one job that they could use me for on a platform, and uh, it was just a day thing. And I went out there. Um, we took a boat. It was like an hour long boat ride to get to the platform. And you have oh, to. Oh, it's like an offshore platform? Yeah, yeah. You have oh, to. Nice. Have you ever been on one? No. You, so on this one, I think most of them are like this. But, uh, if you take a boat, you have to swing across on a rope from the boat to the platform. Okay. I, I vaguely remember you telling me something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. And so. Doing it, going onto the platform was pretty easy because the platform's not moving. The boat is, but it's pretty easy to time it. Uh, right. But when I was coming off, I uh, mistimed it, and I ended up dropping about eight feet from the rope onto the, <laughs> the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was laughing at me because I was an idiot. <laughs> and then we were like, I'm done. Well, it was the end of the day, so yeah. <laughs> but... It was uh it was an interesting experience because I I, they, oh, I was not man. old enough or mature enough to be working on a platform. I didn't know what I was doing and uh I was climbing around to get to a spot to uh unhook some wires and I hopped mm-hmm. down off this ledge and I was right next to a piece of sheet metal and it caught the edge of my pants and from my Ooh. knee to my hip bone just split my pants. It just like caught a hold of it. And like, just sliced through. Yeah, sliced all the way through my jeans. I was so lucky I didn't like lean into it anymore. Cause if it would have caught the meat of my leg, it would have just sliced it like a knife. Yeah. Dang. Did they send you to go fetch a pipe stretcher? No. <laughs> no, I was never that dumb. Hmm. Did they do that to you? No. Oh, okay. I've, I've never worked on a rig though. Oh, so. yeah. Classic rig <laughs> joke. <laughs> if, uh, there will be blood comes on TV, what are you gonna do? Um, see, it's one of those things that you can watch it once and, and, and be satisfied. Yeah. So I, I probably won't watch it again. Even though I liked it a lot, I, I probably won't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really have any interest in watching this. Um, I would say I would recommend it to people who haven't seen it, but once you see it, you're in the club and you're good to go. <laughs> All right. Well, this episode is coming out January 17th, which means you just went and saw Paddington 2. Pat- Paddington? Paddington? The bear movie? You know? Oh, the the bear. How do you already forget? <laughs> sorry, because I went and saw Paddington also. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. It's the documentary about Robert Pattinson. Oh, was that? I can't good... believe he died. Mm, yeah, it's tragic. Patting... And they made his movie quickly. <laughs> Patting there, there wasn't two. a lot. It was more like a short film. <laughs> okay, Paddington. More two. like a teaser trailer <laughs> for Paddington Two. <laughs> what did you think of the movie? Uh, it was a bunch of rubbish. Really? Did you see the first one? It. Uh, I, I no, I didn't. No. No, so that's a, it. Uh, it was dark. Oh, it, they, it's not a kids movie. Yeah, they say it's like as if Ted the movie. Yeah, was darker. A darker Ted. Darker Ted. So is it like? Um, it was like Ted meets Chucky. Oh, okay, it's an interesting take on it. I don't think the first one was very dark. I think that's was, not my take. That was Siskel and Ebert said that. Yeah. Well, what's your take? That's why I'm asking you. That you're the reviewer here. Uh, I feel like it was it was as dark as you would think it would be with a name like Paddington too. It's well, it's got the dark connotations. It's darker than that. I if I heard Paddington too, I would think it's not very dark. Oh, it's darker than that. <laughs> it's darker than that thought. It's darker than any thought. Uh, what did you think of Brendan Gleeson's job in it? Brendan Gleeson? <laughs> is he Paddington? <laughs> I don't know. He's just the uh, top of the... I think he was probably the voice of the Mafia Bear. 
Oh, there's a mafia bear in this. Is Pat? Does Paddington join the mafia? Uh, he's chased by the mafia. Oh, okay. The the character that Brendan Gleeson p- plays uh, does a favor for Paddington, and in exchange, obviously, he says, "Look, right now you don't owe me anything, but one day I'm going to come to you with a favor, and I'm going to need you to repay it." That day came. Paddington was not prepared. Huh. Sp- spoiler alert: Paddington dies. Oof. That's pretty. I mean, that's a rough spoiler there. I don't think I feel like your spoiler alert was not adequate for the, the spoiler that you gave. Did I spoil the movie? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty big. Did plot. I did I give an alert ahead of time? <laughs> yeah, but not all spoilers fall <laughs> under my spoiler alert umbrella. I don't know. I feel like there's different alerts. Like I, if I set an alert on my phone to remind me, spoiler red alert. Paddington <laughs> is torn apart. <laughs> Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio shows up in this. Is he getting revenge for, uh, The Revenant? Yeah. So it's, it's funny because it's actually Leo, Leo DiCaprio plays himself. The actor. And, uh, yeah, the actor, he plays Leo DiCaprio in the movie. And it was originally just supposed to be a cameo. Uh, and apparently there were some repressed feelings that DiCaprio had against stuffed bears and he, tore it apart <laughs> and they decided to run with it so this wasn't even intentional this just happened no it was all improv now i i haven't seen any of the paddington movies is the padding is the bear cgi is it a man in the suit no that's a real bear oh it's a real bear cgi so, yes. so he tore a real bear apart with his bare hands uh well i mean the sorry <laughs> it's not a real bear <laughs> It's Mel Gibson playing a real bear playing a stuffed bear. Well, you know I said, is it a CGI bear or is it a man in a suit? I and know you what said, you said. <laughs> you said it's a real bear. You see why this is confusing for me? Well, yeah, because Mel Gibson was playing a real bear. But CGI is no, pretending no, to be a no, real bear. No, take it for what it is. <laughs> okay. Well, what is don't, your rating? Don't question it. Uh, 13. 13. 13 out of what? 17. And 17 is the best or the worst? 17 is like, you think it's mediocre. Okay. So, 1 to 17. You got it. 17 being mediocre. 13 being somewhat okay. Alright. That's, that's a pretty solid score for a movie you sounded like you hated. No, I just said it was dark. Oh, okay. I... I, I didn't realize how dark it was when I took my children to see this movie. What did they think of it? They loved it. Did they? <laughs> they yes, they, they loved it. <laughs> All right. Well, that is the end of our show, sir. One guy called it the red wedding of teddy bears. <laughs> and so, sometimes I feel like you don't listen to anything I say. <laughs> <laughs> What would make you say that? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. The last 20 years of knowing each other? <laughs> um, if you would like to help us out, if you enjoy this show and you'd like to help support it, you can go over to Patreon, uh, and with a dollar, you can vote for Taylor or I, and whoever has the, Taylor. Le- the least amount of votes at the end of the month will have to pay a punishment. Yeah, and uh, that'll be fun, because at this point, we've already done two punishments, Alan lost both of them, <laughs> not surprisingly. Let's make it three in a row, people. Um, so I'm pretty sure this month's punishment is Alan has to attempt a headstand. A headstand? That sounds... Standing on your head. I I feel like you're writing checks you can't cash there, buddy. Well, you've already lost. <laughs> That's not how it works. That's not how... Because I'm already, I'm already up by 13 this month, so oh, you're going to you? lose. Wow. All right, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but... Uh... I, I'm good with making January headstand what? month. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I feel like if you try to headstand, your neck might break. Oh, I will die. <laughs> and that, I think that's what's funny about it. Hmm. Um, but we also have other options on there. You can get bonus episodes. You can get, um, you can be a sponsor. You can make us watch bad movies. Uh, we want to thank our, our current sponsor, uh, Boss Play. You should go check them out over at www.bossplay-nope. 
I said all that hey, wrong. <laughs> try it. Why is, don't you try it? Ball, it's WWW. Don't shortchange the W's. <laughs> There's never been two W's. We started at three. We're still going on three. Oh, man. That was... WWW. <laughs> <laughs> dot boss... Dash. Dash play. Dot, dot com. Com. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, go check them out. And uh, you guys can help out our show. You can find us on Twitter at I seen that pod. Or nope, that's all you can find us at. Yep. This is it's no or. or you can like us on Facebook. And or also do something. Sing something. Say something. See something, say something. Uh thank you for listening to the podcast from all of us here at I seen that. We say I drink your milkshake. <laughs> that was awful. As expected.